emergency session to deal. North Korea says it has successfully launched what it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang went ahead to... North Korea says it has successfully launched what it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang went ahead despite international pressure to cancel it. These pictures... North Korea says it has successfully launched what it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang went ahead... They say, we say. What it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang went... North Korea says it has successfully launched what it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang. God, I hope if you don't, if you know what's actually going on, I hope you don't get listed as a communist. Because I'm not. I hate commies. Kill a commie for your mommy every day. I suspect it's a cover for a long-range missile test. North Korea says it has successfully launched what it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang. And here's the data on it. So I think it's this down here. Okay. I think. I'm not positive. But this is the freshest data on freshest uh, last 30-day launches. Okay. So you go to that. You get this. They called it number 13. So that's your tracker. We'll track 212.13a. Now, if you listen, confirmed a launch, broke apart, okay. So, you got data, and you got some names that you can watch on that rocket. We'll listen to this. This is the Brits, so this is what they're telling them. showing off the launch site is that of course America and it's been a success range rocket but it has not been a success United States officials have confirmed the launch and that the rocket broke apart soon after takeoff South Korea and other countries in the region had been tracking its trajectory Sky News reporter Holly Williams has been monitoring the launch well, it's hugely important that the North Koreans had decided to launch this rocket they said it was part of their peaceful space program and that what they're doing is putting a satellite up into space. Over the last few days, they've been showing off the launch site. But of course, America and its allies say that this is really a missile test in disguise, or even a, a nuclear weapon, if the North Koreans ever manage to attach a, a nuclear warhead uh, to 2006 and 2000. Then we got no audio. Okay, so there's no audio there. So, and then you see April 13th, and we know that that was the date. So, we'll go back to the data. So these are recent uh, launches, ATV-3, okay, and that was on, what do we got for date here? Oh, I know it was, okay, it's 13 here. So more than likely, it's either this, this, I'm pretty darn sure that it's this, okay. Whether these are the two rocket beds or whatever, but it's something, it's one of these here. It's SL-12, RB-2, and then I went to, uh, you know where we can go track at, but the idea that they're not showing anything on tracking of it, so, and no footage of it. All those cameras over there, as you saw, all those cameras, and no shots of it failing. So basically, this data was updated on the, currently, okay? Special interest satellites only. So we'll go to looking at what's going on on. So as you can see, there is a lot of politics going on on whether this is up there or not. I'm going to try to research this A or B. It's kind of hard to tell whether what's truthful and what's not truthful. Uh, remember that the CNN report said uh, two words, and you can go back to my video to make it exact. I'm not even going to re-mention those words. Possible, I think. And also, 
maybe I think is what may have or something. So anyway, it's just I mean it's a satellite, but you know that it could spy on something. And I like I say this should be updated, and I know that it's but the idea of this stuff is older here, not this. This is supposed to be last 30 days, okay. And what was the name of the thing? Is that's what I'm wondering. I didn't pay attention too much about the name. I know it was three, and it was something about Lumi, or something about Bright. Yeah, call it regrettable. A provocative act, while Japan have called for restraint on all sides. The US with North Korea's actions. Tokyo's also threatened further sanctions, and Russia and North Korea's biggest ally, China, have called for restraint on all sides. The U.S. said the launch is a provocative act, while Japan and South Korea call it regrettable. Let's now talk more about this launch with the head of the Korean Department of the Institute of Oriental Studies here in Moscow, Alexander Vronsev. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. So, we successfully launched what it insists is a communication... North Korea says it has successfully launched what it insists is a communication satellite into orbit. Pyongyang went ahead despite international pressure to cancel it. These pictures from Digital Globe show what's thought to be the launch site. Several countries suspect it's a cover for a long-range missile test. The UN Security Council has agreed to Japan's request for an emergency session to deal with North Korea's act. Anyway, I know with people from in, that are on the internet with certain sites and then they come look at my videos, so I bet you we'll end up figuring out which one it is, and I don't know if it's this one here or not. This was launched in 2012 on the 14th. Okay? So it'll be interesting to know when we find out, move west. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I know nothing. When you know nothing, Cosmos... Uh, that was launched on the 15th, move west. Uh, so, it'd be interesting to see which ones of these, because that one's on the 12th also. I mean, on the year, let me show you, so you understand what I'm talking about. That's the year, launch year, okay? So, Satellites being launched like crazy, so I guess there's window of opportunity on material. And I know Dutch made a mention of an idiotic move, but the idea that when it's a window, it's a window and stuff goes up. Uh, I'm patriotic, so it's not up there, okay? It's not up there, but I'm just giving you some data. So we've got how many sites, and then is that the date over there, NORAD? Okay. Okay, so we got NORAD numbers here and stuff, so I'll do a little searching and you do a little searching too. You should be able to see the link up there. I'm going to save some video time here. So I guess no, uh, RT News, and since I, you know, those are just letters. I'm saying R and T, and I said news, big deal. So, uh, something's goofy. That's <laughs> North Korea. Uh, North Korea says satellite failed, so it's just not up there. Okay. It's not up there. I told you it wasn't up there, and I'm telling you it's not up there. Sit down. It's not up there. So anyway, I think 2.12.13a two stands for asinine launch. Okay, so anyway, it's UNA 3 that was messed up, so we'll see if I can find that. So I'm not going to lie to you. So uh, I'm not going to say the name of this site. <laughs> so anyway... So I guess there's some search engines out there that are wrong because that one, English language report, North Korea's KNZ news agency saying DPK has successfully put a satellite into. So they'll say that they successfully, and they usually do <laughs> because they've got satellites up there. Okay. Uh, and let's go to a post-launch examination because now basically this is information on the number two, the one that basically did get launched that some places say didn't get launched and it's not the one of recent okay but as you see there uh, indicated both stages fell within the announced splashdown zone suggesting that these stages worked as planned okay so we do know that the idea that that one at least it's known that it's out there so let's go look for two and see if we find that 
but so uh so you get two sides of the coin on the one in 2009 okay because I've seen footage of this thing going up the other one okay trying to long ball so I believe that if you look for this one in 2009 you will find it up there okay this satellites up there whatever number you're gonna name you're gonna find it under I don't know let's take a look at this top secret site <laughs> So when you see this is the year that it went up, and this is an update, that's theirs up there. And I'm not saying that that's that one, okay? but that is 2012. And then we'll roll up here. We'll th scroll through the, uh, at least we hope we will anyway, 2012 so far. And then we got Aldebaran Maldi. We've already seen that on the list. And so the data and the data match. But I'm not saying it's at Moraldi. I'm not saying it's any of these, but all I'm saying is these satellites are up there and active. Pengayan 2F. Okay, and then that's recently checked here and is, is there, and it went up in 2012. I don't know what date it went up, but it, it's showing that it's there on this date. And Cosmos on this date. I don't believe it's that one. I think it's that Fungayan one. So let me know what you think it is. So what else we got on 12? And I might have missed one when I was scrolling up. But you will probably see it if you watch the data as I scrolled up. And there's another one, Intel Satellite. So I kind of think it's that one or the other one, Fungayan. So and we know it's in the Pacific Ocean. So. They contradict, I have to contradict, I have to be politically correct. Now we know that the space lab's up there. I think this is the Chinese space lab and I showed you footage from that. So, uh, any of the Chinese got some more footage of your space lab, uh, send it on over to Beano Black and we'll take a look at it. We want to look at anything up in space, so send it to Beano Black and we'll throw it up on the internet. So the data matches on this stuff here. So that stuff's up there, okay? Don't know if it's it, but it looks pretty code worded to me, okay? Because all you got here on the old stuff in 2009 is contradiction, which I understand. I'm all for it. So, steal a satellite every day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope, anyway. Now, this perti uh, per is pertinent if you read this and you look at this. This is pertinent because the idea that it would take Voyager about 70,000 years to cover this distance. Okay. So there's certain points in space in vacuum that actually speeds up because this page shows spacecraft escaping the solar system. Okay? We have spacecraft that are escaping the solar system and they've traveled 70,000 time in years in space in a vacuum. It's possible, ladies and gentlemen. I can make you travel in space. Well, anyway, we know this is real. I give you 100% factual data all the time, so we still got a lot of quakes going on, ladies and gentlemen, and it's starting to get mufflered a lot more than what we were mufflered before, it looks like, so watch your muffler. Make sure you pull their muffler off and look around and see what's going on in the world on your data, fax data, 24-7. 100% factual truth data, be no black. So, constitutional rights, free speech, 24-7, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what, Chinese, China is launching satellites like crazy because on January 13th, they did Fengayan 2F. So, like I say, it might be that Intel, uh, that Intel satellite, it, that it might be the Korean one. Okay, we know this is up there, but on this, it's not up there at all on NORAD's list. So, military satellite, you're not going to find it. So, it'll be interesting who ends up tracking it. Because this was launched, or at least seen up in the sky on the th on this date, okay, and it was launched in 2012. So now Cosmos is up there, but we're pretty sure this isn't it. Cosmos is an early warning NORAD for us. This is 
and it's supposed to still be under construction. So, what's up?